What's up, everybody? DJ Numismatics back again. And if you guessed it, yeah, we're back with another search. We got 150 and ones today to search through. For. Hopefully, we find something cool. And 31 rolls of quarters. The back nine rows are all uncirculated tall grass. Hopefully, we'll find some West Points. So, that being said, let's uh, jump into $150 worth of $1 bills. I'll bring in on all my finds. Well, that stack of bills had absolutely nothing in it. No cool serial numbers, no star notes, no nothing. So, hopefully, we find something interesting in these cards. Well, we're on the first roll. That didn't take long. And it's nothing too cool, but I mean, it's kind of cool. It's a 2008 Philadelphia Minted Arizona State Quarter with the extra cactus sleeve. I'll throw it under the microscope so you can see it just a little better. As you can see, right down there, this one's pretty minor. I've got them to where it covers that entire uh, designer's initials. But, not bad. First roll, first line. Let's move on to some more. Roll number eight, and we got a 1999 Delaware. Let's see if we can see it off or without the microscope. If you look right there, that is the spitting horse. You can see the die crack that goes from the mouth to through Caesar, the seat of Caesar, and over to the rim. I think this is my fifth one of these I found. All right, let me go ahead and finish up this roll. We're on roll 12, and could I be so lucky as to get silver twice in a roll? Or is it another Canadian? Shiny, how do you believe it's gonna be Canadian? And what do we got anyways? Looks like a 2000. Thirteen Canadian twenty-five cent piece. Well, let me go ahead and finish up this roll. We're on roll fifteen, and I just came across something. I wish it was the actual one, but if you look here, this is an 06 North Dakota. I don't know if we'll be able to see it without putting it under the scope, but they're known for having a cut over here. And if you look, if I can get my hands on it here, it's got the die break pre-cut. I'll throw it under the scope so you can see it just a little better. You can see right there, it runs up along there and into there. Eventually that whole thing chips off and becomes a nice little cud. I wish it would have been the cud, but they all settle for a pre-cud. Let me finish up this roll. 19 and let's see here it looks like oops, somebody had some fun with some kind of acid I'm pretty sure that's what it is you can kind of see the etching on it either ate off all the top coat or possibly Just brought the copper to the surface. Not a defect I look for, but cool nonetheless. We're down to the last nine rolls, and like I said, they are all 2020 tall grass prairie. So let's see if we can find some West Points. Well, no luck on the 2020s. All in all, it wasn't too bad about it. We got that crazy copper looking thing. I got four more bicentennials to add to my collection. I got the 99 Spitting Horse. The 08 Extra Cactus Leaf, Arizona. And the pre-cut 06 North Dakota. 
the only day that's a bad day of hunting currency is the day you don't get to do it so I'm glad I got to record this and I'm glad you joined me with this and uh, like always right up here I'll post a link to my eBay page some of these might make it on there I'm pretty sure that spitting horse will make it there and possibly that pre-cud that's definitely not it's just gonna go back into circulation so until next time everybody it's warming up so stay warm stay safe and happy hunting yes I forgot I got the Canadian so I lost 25 cents but oh well. see you guys soon Here we go.